This little segment is just to give you some introductions to some hints and tips that we've discovered over the last seven years of disasters and failures and how easy it is to overcome them. Possibly the first one, if you plan to stain and you've first got your shutters with the dots on, when you remove the dot, it is in fact necessary to sand that vigorously to ensure there's no residue because you won't notice that until you stain it and then you'll wonder why you've got big dots on your shutters. The second most popular one is when you, we suggest in the in instructions to insert a three inch nail into the hole, giving support to hang things up and indeed on the blades to give you a little handle. It's very important when you do that that you make sure that it's a bright steel nail, not a galvanised nail, as there's a big difference with the galvanised coating. It just makes the hole that little too large when you come to insert your plastic fittings later on. The third one is when you're assembling your shutter and you've got it together, you must ensure that the blades do in fact move easily themselves. If they're very tight and sticky at that stage, it's only going to magnify the problem once you put your control rod on. Also, once you've got them together and screwed in, it's quite important at that stage to just walk along with a stick and just tap down the sides, because at this stage they could still be slightly buckled, making it very hard to operate. And once you've done that both sides, it doesn't take much, but then you'll find in most cases that'll align and make the shutter work ever so easier. The other tip is once you've done your painting and all that, is to actually just clean out the little holes, because it's going to have paint in it for sure, because you can't have a nail in every hole. It only needs a 3mm hole for these and a 6mm hole for those. And it's just quite simple just to take out any residue that may be in there and you'll find your fittings fit in ever so easy and then you don't have a problem with them. Same with the bigger one, a 6mm. If you're doing lots and lots of shutters, it may pay to invest in a little battery drill and indeed a magnetic tip which makes it easier because that will in fact magnetise the screws and saves a lot of dropping on the ground. The other one that people don't seem to get when they read our instructions is the necessity to put tape around the edge, A, to uh, maintain your number, but B, when it's finished, you could, you are left with that raw timber edge, which is your glue line, and the fact that it doesn't have several coats of paints means it will easily fit back into the hole. The most common mistake people make when assembling the shutters is not referring to the instructions to item number 18, which gives you a little diagram showing you which way the actual components go. The top and middle all have these little rebates in them, which is looking at you, and then the bottom is the exact opposite direction, not the same way as that at all. Another common misconception when you get your shutters is that people instantly notice that the control rod doesn't fit into the rebate, which is good because it's not supposed to. The control rod actually covers that over so it looks neat and its whole purpose is just to take the little knuckle when it goes in there. So don't be deterred if it doesn't fit. And then following that, you need to read instruction 18 once again, just prior to assembling the shutters and you'll discover that it in indicates that little rebate is facing you for the face of the shutter in the top and the middle rail if you have one, but the bottom rail is indeed exactly the opposite to those. Most people try to match the rebates like that and soon discover that the blade will not operate. And then when you finally get around to putting your little plastic knuckles in, it's the last thing you need, it's the last part of the job, is to put the knuckle in and then assemble the, the final control rod on the shutter and in most cases, people can't find them. They're identical colour to the bubble wrap when you receive it. They're a tiny little thing that flicks anywhere, so we suggest as soon as you've counted those, once you've opened your delivery, and you're assured that they're all there, is to put them in the kitchen drawer or somewhere out of the way so they won't get lost. Another little thing we have trouble with from time to time is people paint the knuckle after it's put together, and you'll find that the paint will build up on this little flange and you'll have trouble with it coming off. When making a board to put your blades on, just ensure that the centres are 100 mil apart so when they're drying they cannot touch each other. Just another little small tip, when screwing on your hinges, ensure that the screw goes in square to the hinge and not on an angle. It's essential to make the shutter close properly 
to have that screw flush with the hinge and naturally if it's on an angle like that you could imagine that you'd have trouble shutting your shutter. If you need any further instructions don't hesitate to ring us or indeed if you have a better suggestion that you may think will aid future DIY people we would love to hear from you.